Brownie mishap. The B-side word. So a woman and her husband and their two kids went to a cafe called the Woodland Cafe in Perth. This was earlier this year, I yeah. think. Now, just minding their own business, they ordered some brekkie, some coffee, a couple brownies. Now, one kid finished finished all their brownies like a good kid. I bought that for you, you better finish it. The other kid ate about a third. Mum finished it off. Anyway, thanks for the brekkie. We're out of here. On the way home, kids are being, seem a bit tired, a little bit tired. Anyway, they get home. One of the kids lets out a blood-curdling scream. So the parents go running. Blood-curling? Curdling. Oh, curdling, yeah. And the dad's like, oh, my God, I think we've got to get her to hospital because she couldn't see properly. She mm. couldn't see properly. Yeah. So they went to hospital. <laughs> In hospital, the kids are just really tired and just, just something's not right. And the mum... I'll just say I know exactly where this is going. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the mum... <laughs> Basically, started feeling just really. She said she started feeling loony, almost like just like she was going mad. She 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 saw a mannequin, and then she was like, "Oh my god, there's four, there's four um security officers. They're gonna take me to a, a psychiatric ward." Right. <laughs> anyway, so she she was like hallucinating, maybe. Yeah. She went and had a. Did you have? She went. Did you have a special brownie? She went and had a nap in the hospital for two hours. Like I guess they come, come on, come on, and she slept. And she woke up and they tested her pee and it was positive for cannabis. Right. They tested the <gasps> rest of the families and the two little kids were positive for cannabis. Right. The husband was negative. He did not eat any brownies. He was and in on this, it. <laughs> this actually made the news because it was just a normal cafe a normal cafe and these kids had been given a cannabis brownie mm. he's brownie. just been he's <laughs> just been he was charged he was charged found guilty on two counts of selling food that was not suitable un, well unsuitable under the food act and he's been fined 15 grand he's like i've already suffered i have to i have suffered as only as what can only be described as punishment in the sense that this has been in the media like this whole time. But basically he had been given some cannabis butter from someone, made some brownies and it was an accident. Somehow they got mixed in with the customer's brownies to sell. <laughs> He's like, he thinks maybe it fell from some, I don't know, maybe one fell into the batch, but there was two. So, um, I don't know if anyone else had any of these special brownies, but how many yeah. people came back? <laughs> <laughs> These were the best brownies ever. I don't know, but yeah, man, I talked to my grandfather for an hour and a half. He's been dead for forty years. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my favorite part of this is though is that what? How? And I'm I'm saying this. I know I'm saying this, and I know that I've probably got someone here sat there who would be in this situation. How naive do you have to be to eat a brownie, go through those things, and not realize yeah. what's happening? Yeah. Well, yeah, and I say, I say, I think, I think yeah. Emma would be in that situation. Well, I would be. Like, if yeah. I just went to a cafe with the kids and we just ate, right? But it, even if it was a brownie, right? And then, well, first of all, they only went to hospital because the kid something she felt something was wrong with her vision. So I'd be like, oh my god, I wouldn't put two, you wouldn't put two and two together. Mm. And then because she was in the situation. <laughs> But would you? Oh, you might, but might. It was your, it's like I reckon if it was your child, you'd hit panic and take him. Yeah, Look, you I'm wouldn't be you, like because it's a brownie. Would... It's like the most cliche way for that to happen. Like if it was in any other food, I think I wouldn't put two and two together. But because, specifically because it's a brownie, I'd probably be like, oh, I know exactly what's happened here. Really? Yeah, but you're, you're especially you're, if you're I especially if I'm feeling it. You, I'm like, I know exactly no, what's happening. Like. <laughs> yeah. But how But how would you know? I wouldn't know. Maybe, I've maybe never the had mother it. hasn't been stoned before. No, but the I'm not even talking right? about whether you have or not. I think it's just the awareness. Like, there's some people, like, this is why I say Emma. Emma's life is so secluded from that type of thing or people or anything like that. Oh, yeah. Whereas I've been around it for most of my life. 
so I know yeah. exactly how that affects but, people, yeah. what they look like. Have you tasted kind of brownies stuff. that have had um they've had uh, weed in it? Like, ha- like yes. it tastes different. Yes, you can taste but the difference. You're talking about a lot of chocolate. No, it, as well. but Maybe Siege. You, it, it, you might think it's a dark chocolate. It doesn't matter if it's got a lot of chocolate. Like when I've had one of one of uh, had one, I was like, "Man, this is hard to eat, bro. Like, this is not this is not the most enjoyable uh, brownie on the market. Like, if I've had a brownie, right, <laughs> it's pure chocolate. Like, you know, the brownies you have it, you go, "Hmm, this is like rich chocolate." When whenever I've had a yeah. uh, hash, one, I was like. This is not so great. <laughs> but what I do, gr- I'm not, I'm not eating for the that. enjoyment. I don't know if that if it makes a difference on how it's made. For example, that being the butter, I d- I've not yes. had one with the butter, so I don't know if that makes a difference in terms of how it tastes. Yes, it's the butter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, they pre-made it in the like the mixture in the butter, and then they yeah yeah, it's exactly what they did. Yeah. So well, what was their tolerance? Like the mum got stoned from a bit of butter. No, no, <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't from the butter, Sage. I mean, I mean, a bit of butter, yeah. marijuana butter, fell into the brownie mixture. No, 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 no. They, they, they made, made it. He, the chef, the owner, made a batch of marijuana bra- cannabis brownies for himself. Yeah. Oh, yeah. but I thought he had some cannabis butter. He did that. He was given. And it accidentally fell into the wrong mixture. <laughs> and he served it. Wait, like, can can, can, CJ, can we go through the kitchen, right? So he's making the brownies and he's got the butter just up, like hovering above the, <laughs> on the shelf, hovering. Yeah, and he's just grabbed it. one and gone, well, and just put it back. <laughs> this is the best. And he, and he keeps going. And he's like, did I grab the right butter? <laughs> oh, yeah, I did. Uh, oh, I didn't. they're good. <laughs> but I, anyway, I... You'd be outraged if this happened to you. If it was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, like and your yeah. kids, I'd be pissed of like my and your kids. When I stop laughing, I'd be pissed. <laughs> when I, don't I, know stop if I would be outraged. <laughs> if it happened to your children, do you know the reason why I say I don't know why I'd be outraged is because there's no, like it's not going to harm them. Like I, I think I'd be outraged if something happened while they were under the influence thing but otherwise it's like mm. yeah that's like that's irresponsible and i'd make sure that the person there should be more responsible like i there would be an altercation but i wouldn't be like livid like it's the worst i'd just be like like all right like it'll pass you know what i mean it's it, there's they're so gonna, many they're gonna try there's anyway. so many worse things that can happen <laughs> to them yeah. alexander what would you be like with the uh restaurant owner nah not again <laughs> no, like that that would be where no, my frustration would come out. Poor children would scared owner. out of their oh, wits. The kids. Yeah, they'd be scared out yeah, of their wits. Yeah, but I I think trip. the re- so I think trip. the reason that they were as scared as they were is because of the parent. Like mm. I think mm. kids respond a lot to how you respond to things and situations. So if you responded to it completely differently, like and I I'm saying this from an experience again having been around people who have been under the influence how you act around them matters. Like, really matters. Mm. If you're... If if they're around people who are paranoid, they become extremely paranoid. Mm. So you've got to... That's what I'm... Like, again, I think it's massively dependent on your experience of this type of thing. I don't mean from doing it yourself. I just mean from being around people. Like, Alexander, you just brought up like uh, the there was this. Um, you remember with Marlon Wayne? Oh, is it Marlon Wayne? Wife and Kids? Do you remember that sitcom, Wife and Kids? Damien Wayne's. Damien Wayne's. Yeah. Dem- he his kid it took um like had a uh, a sesh right. Anyways, the parents could smell it, but instead of like um telling yelling at him, they acted on his um. Acted on him being spun out, right? So he, they act, they go, "Hey boy, how are you?" And then they just like move like that. And they go, "Why are you moving? Why are you moving?" And they're like, "We're not moving, you're moving." And they're just spinning him out totally. And it was the best. It was so good. And all of a sudden, like, um, like, uh, <laughs> what's his name again? Marlon Way? No, Damien Ray. Damon. He would. Da- da- Damon. He'd 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 say something. Run into the kitchen. 
And then he'd come back and he'd have this ice cream and then he'd chuck it on the floor. Like he was just spinning him out. He's just doing all this shit. And he's just like, I, 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 gotta, I gotta go to bed. I gotta go to bed. I gotta go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> it was the best. It was so cool. I think, I think that's what we should do. What? If our kids ever like experiment. They better not. <laughs> God. Anyway, if they experiment. <laughs> <laughs> Ever? Not. I hate to... Be- <laughs> They, they are going to experiment. Why do you I'm say sorry that? To tell you Not this. everyone does. Prepare, prepare yourself. Boys experiment far more I mean, than girls. You got, yeah, and you got three of them. So at least one of them will. Is this true? Do you not know any boy that has never experimented? <laughs> I don't know if I should. I don't know what you want. I don't know if you want I a reality. I know the truth. If you want a reality uh, check or do you just want... Uh, 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 is this going to be in the podcast or not? Yes, it will be. She asked the question. Okay, I refuse to answer this question <laughs> in the case somebody incriminate me or incriminate anybody that I know. I plead the fifth. <laughs> in Australia. I will say this. I plead the fifth. In, at my age now, anyone who I've had the conversation with has experimented. They hadn't the mm-hmm. whole time. Like there's some people who it took them a few more years before they decided to. So like, for example, some people happened after university, which is normally where most yeah. people experiment. Um, sort of late teens. But yeah, every male that I've ever had a conversation with this about has experimented. Mm. Mm. So the percentages aren't even. So right. just like <laughs> once and then that done? No, nah, it just depends on their personality. No, and the <laughs> group of the friends. Yeah. Yeah. The group of friends, yeah. their personality. There's a lot of factors. Yeah. Look, I'll, and, I'll, and I'll, the, I'll, the I will say this. of the parents. <laughs> I will say this, and you know, I say that. You know, I I think this way. I would rather experiment with that than with alcohol. Yeah, because it's safer. Thoughts, Emma? Thoughts? None. Let's end it there. Okay. (laughs) The B-side word.